Hey guys, so I'm your host here, Arsu, and today I review the Leapin Legwalik Ghostbusters Acto 1 and 2. So, this is the box here. Uh, so, you can see it's recommended for the 6 and up and comes with 586 pieces. And this set, uh, 160 Cree 2. And yeah, so you can see you got the 2016 movie there. And yeah, um, they changed the Ghostbusters uh, name into this uh, weird name that I, I don't even know how to pronounce. But yeah, so the top of the box, you can see you got uh, a handle here and shows you all the main figures. So it comes with six of them. Uh, so you got Mayhem, Erin, uh, Patty, Abby, um, another Abby, but yeah, I believe this is a uh, Jillian and you also got a uh, Kevin. So this is the side of the box here. Uh, so both sides, they are all the same. So uh, this is the back of the box here. So as he shows you the features and you know, you got Kevin possessed by um, the ghost and you know, uh, you got the all the weapons, the accessories and everything. And yeah, I got this big sticker right here, but yeah. So that's it for all of the stuff on the box. So uh, inside does comes with uh, a very big uh, cray, but um, yeah, just a, a simple cray and yeah. So this is the instruction manual here. Uh, so you can see this is the first page, it does have number backs and yeah, the stickers is uh, right here. You know, uh, they, I don't know why they just stick it right here, but you know, uh, pretty normal, nothing special in the inside the instruction, but at the back, it does have a very, it does have a very nice artwork here, and sorry about the sound just now because, yeah, the box just uh, fell off, but yeah, uh, this art here is kind of cool, I guess, but um, yeah, so that's it for the instruction. So these are all the extra pieces here. Uh, so you can see they are in uh, this uh, bag here, and yeah, um, it's the like the final bag that uh, don't have to be open when I was uh, building it. And yeah, I I assume uh, there's just extra pieces, uh, you know, because there's no like missing piece or anything. But you know, uh, you can see you got some clip pieces, uh, extra hands, and you know. Technic pieces, studs, towels, and yeah, like that's really it. And you also got uh, this uh, brick separator, which is um, interesting, I guess. It's kind of a frog face, so that's um, cool, I guess, that they are all like making different types of uh, brick separator. So, yeah, that's it for all of the extra pieces. So, the first main figure here is uh, Mayhem. So, you can see Leapin uh, did do a great job of uh, you know making the molds of the figure because, like, the wings of this is uh, a pretty nice mold. You know, it's in a uh, translucent uh, black. And yeah, so you got some printing on there, and yeah, it looks nice. And. You know, I'm not sure uh, which side is it on, but yeah, and the helmet is the, I believe it's the Nexo Knight's helmet. And yeah, you just got a bit of printing right there. And yeah, so the face, um, you know, you got this like green eye face with the very sharp uh, teeth. And yeah, uh, no double sided face, but yeah, the headpiece is uh, also uh, translucent uh, black, which is nice. And so has the skeleton uh, body, and you know, like the rest of the body is just uh, pretty normal. You know, you got great arms and also these uh, uh, these legs. And yeah, so that's it for uh, Mayhem. So the second minifig here is Aaron. Uh, so I'll show you all the proton packs and the accessories later, but yeah. Uh, so you can see uh, she does have her hair piece here, which you know is just a, a pretty common one. But yeah, so uh, let's just remove her hair piece, and you know you can see the back. You have a kind of um, shocked or like scared expression, and yeah. So the torso printing, you can see you got her necklace there, and you, know, you got this uh you got this pouch right there, and you know you got some orange and white stripes, and. Yeah, so the light printing is uh, dual molded, which is nice. You got some pouches uh, printing right there, and you know you have for boots in black. Side arm printing, you got this uh, Ghostbusters uh, logo, and yeah, the other side doesn't have the logo, but yeah, just the stripes. 
and yeah so this is the back you got more of the stripes printing and yeah just some other lining so yeah that's it for Aaron so this is a uh, patty uh, so you can see uh, leaping completely messer uh, messer up uh, you know just her hairpiece though but you know uh, leaping replace her hairpiece with the black widow hairpiece which really suck but yeah so let's just remove that and you know it yeah they could have just made a mold like yeah it's it's annoying you know but yeah so uh, you can see he does have this alternate expression which is her kind of angry face but yeah so the torso printing you you also got her necklace right there you got pouch and yeah you got uh, a little bit of a uh, leg print thing uh side arm print thing is uh, the same as uh, all the other uh, figures and yeah so no door model legs uh, because she has a different kind of suit but yeah so this is the background thing i believe it's the same one as uh, aaron but um yeah so that's it for patty so this is uh abby here so you can see uh leaping did make her hair piece because i believe it's the it's pretty common and you know uh, you can see got her kind of like uh, annoyed face and yeah remove Removing the hair piece, you can see you got her alternate expression, which is her like really excited face, and yeah. So the torso printing, yeah, it's a uh, pretty simple. You just got a uh, pouch right there, and you, know, you got her like name, but it just says uh, A and Y, but yeah. So the leg printing, I believe, is the same one. I'm not sure, but you know, you got some pouches printing, and you know, uh, you got side arm printing. They are all the same. And yeah, the back printing, it's also all the same. So yeah, that's uh, really it for Abby. So the fifth figure here is a uh, Jillian. So you can see uh, her hair piece is totally messed up uh, because, you know, I'm not sure what this hair piece is, uh, but you know, uh, it it's not the hair piece that official Lego used. So yeah, that's also another problem. But um, you know, let's just remove her face and you can see um, yeah, the alternate expression is her kind of like uh, on goggles face, and yeah, so you can see her torso printing is kind of different. You know, you can see got like this uh, this strap with uh, some like grenades or something. I'm not sure, but yeah, you also got her name tag right there, and yeah, they are they are all all different. So yeah, that's um, great, and yeah. So this is the side arm printing. It's all the same. Uh, leg printing does have dual mode legs, and yep. So the back you can see it's pretty much the same. It's uh, it's just that it has this strap printing right there, which makes it different. So yeah, that's it for Jillian. Last but not least, this is Kevin. So you can see Leapin did make his hairpiece. I'm not sure uh, if his uh, hairpiece is exclusive or not, but yeah, you can see his face. Uh, you got his glasses, and you know you got his beard and everything. And yeah, so the torso printing is uh, very simple. You just got this Kevin name name tag right there. You got pouch and you know side arm printing, which is nice. I believe. I believe uh, they have a little bit more different printing with just this like black lining which is um you know it's a very small detail but yeah so this is the back printing uh, you can see uh, it's also different and yeah I'll show you the alternate expression you can see this is his uh, uh, possessed face uh, by uh, the, um, the main villain of the movie I'm not sure what he what his name is but yeah, uh, you can see got his uh, red eyes and his kind of like mad face. So yeah, uh, that's it for all of the minifix. So these are all the proton packs uh, right here. So um, I put one of them in uh, the on the figure, but uh, you know, uh, obviously the figure is uh, not so stable because. Uh, you know, like it's so heavy, and you know, you have to put the figure on the studded base uh, in order for it to stand up. And yeah, uh, so you can see uh, each like each one of these has uh, this uh, printed uh, towel piece, which you know is nice, but it's just that it's not in the middle, which is always a problem for like your bullet stuff. But um, yeah, so this one right here is the like the most accurate to the middle one, but. 
yeah this print thing looks uh, really nice and you know you got this ingot piece right here and yeah this piece is um you know it's connected by uh, this uh, clip piece which you know uh, makes it uh, you can move around and yeah uh, so the side here you can see you got this clip piece clipping this uh, this gun thing this blaster thing which you know you can take it out and put it on the figure's uh, hands but you know uh, this thing is this is a, a Catwoman whip piece but it's just that it won't like it won't flex very well so you know that's a bit of a problem there but you know, you can just put it like this, I guess, and, you know, just let the the Mayfigures uh, use other, like, weapons. But, uh, yeah, so that's it for the Proton Packs. So, these are all the accessories uh, included. So, you can see you got uh, this two box thing, accessory box kind of thing. I'm not sure what it is, but, yeah, you also got this uh, PKE uh, meter, which, uh, you know, just scans for, like, the, or the, when, you know, there's a ghost around, I guess. Uh, it's in the movie, you know, it's kind of like, it just spins around, I guess, but, you know. And you know you got this translucent orange piece from Nexo Knights too, and you also got this uh, proton sight arm, uh, and you also got this ion uh, shield gun, which I'm not sh quite sure if it's a gun or a gauntlet because it's it's on a gauntlet piece with a stud. But yeah, you got two of these craps. I'm not sure how they work, but yeah, uh, you got two different types of these. I guess this one is. Um, a uh, crap with a uh, ghost inside it, I guess I'm not sure but uh, yeah so that's uh, really it for all of the accessories so this is the Ecto 2 which is uh, basic basically just a uh, motorcycle but yeah uh, so you can see the front here got this thicker piece which is which is just the Ghostbuster uh, uh, logo and yeah you also got this headlight right here and the back it got a little bit of build here which is I believe this some kind of um, storage box you know like on like delivery motorcycles you know something like that I guess but yeah it doesn't have a stand which is kind of kind of bad but yeah you can just put on Kevin and you know he can just ride a motorcycle and get possessed and everything but yeah like um you know like that's uh, really it for uh, actor 2 not so much to talk about it it's just a motorcycle so this is the Ecto-1 itself here. Uh, so let's start off by, by taking a look at the front here. So you can see the front, uh, you have this grill here which is, um, you know, just these uh, one by 2 uh, slow pieces in uh, silver and yeah, they are kind of a bit of uh, chrome. So yeah, that looks uh, really good, and I do like it. And yeah, so the headlights here, uh, they use these uh, modified one by one brick pieces in transparent. And yeah, the bottom, uh, it has a um, a translucent orange piece, which um, I believe is supposed to be the signal light. And yeah, I'm not sure what both of these are. I'm I'm not quite sure, but you know, uh, you got this Ecto one. A uh, license plate here in New York, uh, it says right there, and yeah, it's a printed piece, which is nice. So, uh, the top here, you can see, uh, you got this piece, which I believe is the logo for the car, and yeah, so the hood here, uh, you got these uh, white fish right here, which is rep uh, represented by uh, these uh, uh, lever pieces, and yeah, uh, so you can see this this grill piece here is also in um, chrome so yeah that's nice and I I'm not sure if um, I uh, which is supposed to be which because you know this here is not the chrome one but yeah so the wipers uh, they do look nice so the sides here you can see you got the side mirrors which um, you know, it's very simple. It's just cl clip on there with uh, this clip piece right there uh, with the uh, pistol piece. So, uh, the rest of the sides, uh, you got uh, all these uh, swipes. Uh, they are all the same pieces and they are all printed too. And so as this uh, Ghostbuster uh, logo. And yeah, so this door, you can see, you can open it up and, you know, it's on this hinge. And, you know, you can push it back in. And yeah, it's 
this thing is uh, connected by this uh, gap right here and yeah this this is this uh, stud and a towel piece and you know you can just push it in and yeah it locks it kind of locks in there and yeah uh, it's nice but yeah unfortunately uh, there is no uh, the op there is no opening for the back door but yeah it's it's okay but yeah so right there and see you got a sticker piece uh, which is supposed to be transparent and just one red stripe on top but yeah leaping can mess the sticker up for the set and I'll show the the rest of the messed up sticker pieces but yeah so the wheels here you can see you got uh you got like these uh, technic pieces uh they are just kinda like um you know turned around this uh, technic piece and yeah kinda makes a um a wheel there you know, it looks really nice. I do like it, and yeah. So uh, the back here, you got uh, this uh, ladder here, which you know you can put the figures uh, to climb up to grab uh, the equipment on top. And yeah, I'll I'll show you the equipment separately. But yeah, so this is another uh, messed up piece, and yeah, I mean it it just looks um it's supposed to be there, but yeah, the background is supposed to be red, so. Yeah, that's bad, but yeah, you know, it does kind of fit in there, so yeah, that's okay, I guess, but you know. Uh, so the back, uh, you can see you got these, um, these lights back there. I'm not sure what it is. It, I believe it's like a siren lights or whatever, but yeah, you also got both of these antennas at the back. And yeah, you also got, uh, tow lights. And yeah, they are also messed up. Uh, they are supposed to be transparent back, uh, background for them but yeah it, it has white background but yeah it does kind of fit in a little bit just a little bit and you know it, it does look weird though but yeah so you got another Ecto-1 um, a printed piece and you also got this uh, crunk which is on this hinge and you can uh, open it up and you got a sticker piece right there which um, it says a uh, caution uh, stay stay um, I'm not sure stay back over so uh, I'm not sure what it what it says but yeah so you can open it up and yeah this thing here is kinda you know push in to make it uh, you know blend into the shape and yeah so the back you can see you got all the accessories that I showed you just now and yeah you can put a um, a proton pack on the back but it's just only one which kinda really sucks so you have to you have to crawl all the proton packs on on the side, which is kind of bad. But yeah, I'll show you the um, the back area later. But yeah, so the other side you can see it's uh, pretty much identical to the other side. Uh, you know because it it doesn't have the it it just doesn't have the ladder piece on the side. But yeah, so let's show you the top. So uh, the top part, uh, it's in uh, two pieces. So you can uh, remove this piece to access the um, the driver's compartment and also the um, passenger's compartment. And yeah, so this second piece is uh, al allows you to ac access the back uh, trunk. But yeah, let's show you the these uh, pieces first. But yeah, this one here, you can see it's a uh, very simple, just. Uh, simple build here and you got this uh, piece right here to block the door from uh, going too far so yeah you can see you got uh, this uh, this radioactive uh, warning thing which uh, you know another messed up sticker uh, the background is supposed to be uh, transparent and yeah uh, this is also another sticker piece and yeah it's also messed up uh, the white part is supposed to be uh, transparent and yeah, that uh, kind of really sucks. But you got this uh, really large uh, yellow siren here. You got this uh, loudspeaker. Uh, not sure what the rest of these are. This, I believe it's a hose or something. Uh, but yeah, so this one, you know, I'm, I'm not really sure what any of these are. But, you know, you got this thing with this tube going to here. And yeah, this tube is just the Catwoman's uh, whip piece. And yeah, this is the... The radioact the radioactive part of the the this car I guess but yeah so you can see you got this uh, warning sign parts um, parts may fall off I'm not sh I'm not sure why though but yeah 
you know so uh the bottom uh it's in this uh it's it has this uh like roll cage kind of thing uh it's a prison cell door i believe but yeah so that's it for the top of the car so this is the interior here so uh, you can see it's uh, pretty spacious, you can fit four main figures in here, I'll show you all that later, but yeah. So you can see you got a sticker piece right here, which is this uh, control panel kind of thing, I'm not sure what this is, but yeah, it's uh, definitely radioactive, you know, because you got this uh, warning sign right there, but you know, like the rest of these, I'm not sure what these are, um, and I'm not sure where the uh, the meters, the dials are for the speed of the car and everything, but yeah, so you got this uh, steering wheel right at the bottom. Yeah, it's uh, at like seriously the very bottom. And you also got this a uh, gear shift thing, which is a lever, just a lever. But uh, yeah, so the back, nothing else really. But yeah, uh, I'll show you the main figures I put in later. But you know, uh, all these equipment you can just pull them out. And yeah, the back is just. Uh, you know, pretty spacious, I guess, and you got this little hole right in the middle. And yeah, this thing here, on like this piece on the side, uh, you got it's in uh, this like kind of hinge piece, and yeah, you just it just only like hinges a little, uh, to make the angle for the car, and yeah, you got this uh, clip piece to block it. So yeah, that's uh, interesting technique, I guess, uh, really cool technique, and yeah. So, uh, let's fit in the main figures uh, at the front. So these are four of the main figures uh, inside the car, and yeah. So you can see, uh, the, all of their like arms, they all have to be uh, down, and yeah, uh, only like the driver and um, uh, the passenger at the front, uh, they are like uh, right and left arms have to be raised uh, because here. Here got a little space, but the back uh, it doesn't have a uh, very much space in the middle, so all, all of their arms they all have to uh, lower it down, and yeah, they are all just sitting on uh, jumper plates, and yeah, so uh, I think it's a uh, pretty cool how they fit in, and yeah, it's okay that you have to like uh, position their arms into the right uh, position uh, in order to sit them in. And yeah, it does look nice, uh, like them sitting in there. Except that uh, the driver, uh, both of her arms can like uh, be raised up uh, to make it look like she's uh, holding the steering wheel. But yeah, so overall, it's a pretty nice little build here. And yeah, so I believe uh, that's pretty much it for all of the builds in the set. So overall conclusion, how do I think of the set here? Uh, so the figures, um, you know, the the figures that Leapin they messed up, they are all great. You know, Mayhem, um, you know, really nice that uh, Leapin made the mold. Except uh, that I just noticed the uh, uh, this helmet piece uh, from Nexo Knights is uh, it's actually uh, supposed to be a different helmet piece. So yeah, that kind of sucks. But you know, it does still look uh, pretty accurate enough that I won't even notice it. So yeah, that's okay. And yeah. So the Ghostbusters here, um, you know, like their hair pieces, um, it's just, it's, it's just the only problem. Their hair pieces are the only problem, like the ones that they messed up. But the ones that they did mess up, uh, yeah, it's all pretty good. Uh, Kevin is nice too, and yeah. So the proton packs, uh, I like, I like the pre printed pieces, and you know, it's just that the. A, a little bit sad that the Catwoman's uh, whip piece can be like flex or anything, but yeah. So the printed pieces they are all really really nice. Uh, it's just that they all have to print uh right uh right exactly in the middle. You know, like if they if they are all like aligned in the middle, then yeah, I think it would be great. And the build, uh, like the build, the motorcycle is um it's just a motorcycle. You know. It's it's fine, and yeah, the the Ecto one, uh, it's it's actually really good. Like the the builds, uh, they are all pretty smooth and everything. It's just that the stickers, they, uh, like the background for the stickers, uh, are like uh, white. So yeah, kind of makes the 
everything here just looks uh, really bad uh, but you know if you ignore the stickers then yeah I think it will be fine like the rest of the builds uh, they are all they'll all be fine and you know like the set itself here is uh, great I do recommend it if you like it and you know like yeah overall it's a great set to get like I mean if you can't afford it uh, from the official Lego then yeah nice uh, set to get so yeah, thanks for this down in the description box below, along with all my social media pages down in the description. So, if you are interested in my content, make sure to subscribe right here. And yeah, if you want to watch more of my other videos, uh, make sure to click uh, right here on both of these uh, videos. And yeah, so like that's already it for the video. So, thanks for watching. I'll be seeing you very soon.